Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and create some routes for our application, which is again, the fast thumb application. So by the looks of it, from the screenshot, you can tell that we have a home page, right? We have a 60 second play activity. We have a help activity. We have a login register activity. So once you log in, you're gonna get this page like this. So which is basically the same as home page. So we can share some components, some state there. So that's a good thing. Um, we have a logout page then we have a host join page these two are new the the host page would take us to some sort of um, page where we would enter the details of you know just a room or maybe something like that and the join page would similarly do the same thing then we have this page which is the mo uh, most important page for us that is our um, you know our page for actually typing the speed and doing all that good stuff checking the actual typing speed of the user then we have an activity page and uh, yeah that's that's basically it right so let's just get started so because we are using react again what we're gonna need to do is just go back into our app.tsx file and we're gonna add certain routes here so i'm gonna get rid of this and i'm just gonna go ahead and change my indentation to tabs as well or actually let's just keep it to spaces only because um that way you're gonna see um you know let's just keep it to tabs but i'm gonna reduce the size of tabs to two that's good all right so now what we see is that we have these routes so let's just get rid of these particular routes for now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a route and i'm gonna say this one is exact and path should be this thing and um I'm just gonna keep everything exact so that it's no uh, no confusion whatsoever, right? So this is how it works. So I'm gonna keep it exact about this. We also need a component. I'm gonna give this a home component, right? For our login page, I want the component to be login. Similarly for register and similarly, let's just keep it uh dashboard for now we can just merge merge these two components later on but for now i'm just going to keep it dashboard separate and dashboard here we are right so now the terminology with ionic is that these are not really components but in fact these are pages right so you see what ionic does is that it says you that divide your um, application into pages and components now components are the pieces of code which you can reuse across multiple screens. For example, you might have a custom button which you created yourself. So that will go into components. However, your route pages, which are actually pages in your application, your activities are going to go into the pages folder right here. So obviously you can just go ahead and put that in the components page, components folder as well, but it's always better to have a, you know, a proper, distinction between your code base files so that it's easier for you to manage on later so i'm just going to keep it login just like this similarly register and we have a bunch of other activities oops let's see what's happening register and we also have dashboard with us right so we do not have these three files so let's just go ahead and create these three files so what i'm going to do is what i prefer myself Although a lot of people do not really prefer this, but I create a folder and then I throw in their styles with their JSX files. Right, so I'm just going to throw in the home.tsx and the home.css and I'm going to rename this to index. So although if I refer it like pages slash home from here, it will still refer to pages slash home slash index. So that's, that's just fine. That's how the default JavaScript import behavior works. So we have home with us we have login we also need to create actually let me just go ahead and create it using the cli so it's faster we need register and we also need dashboard right inside these files we need uh index.tsx right we need uh styles CSS, right? Similarly, you would need a dashboard index.tsx. Oops. Anyway, and we need style 
https://ts.css, right? So there's that. And we can just rename this .dsx. And let's just, for the sake of, um, you know, uniformity, I'm just going to keep that styles.css as well. And let's just throw in some CSS files here too, right? So once we have that much in place, what we can see is just, let me just go ahead and bring, let me just get rid of this, get rid of this as well get rid of this right and i'm just gonna copy and paste this whole thing a bunch of times here here and inside our dashboard right so one final thing let's just change the title dashboard login and we're gonna just get into all these tags and everything don't you worry about that we're just going to learn everything by actually building stuff so you don't actually, you know, just learn everything in the air. So there we are. And we have a little bit of problem here, I guess, from pages home.tsx. Home.tsx. Let's see. I don't think so. Looks like previous, some previous problem. Let's refresh. Nope. So we have cannot read. Okay, this might sometimes happen if you're changing your file structure too much because, um, you know, these scripts, these tools actually keep everything in your memory. So if you get something like this and you're pretty sure that you are, have done nothing, just, just go ahead and refresh, restart this. It's, it's pretty quick, number one, and it's, you know, it's just, it's sane to do. So once we have that in place, we would see that if I go to app.tsx right here, we would have um hello world on the home page if i go to slash login you're gonna see register here which is my fault but you can change that if i go to register uh, we see nothing let's see why that is the case because we do not have any component for that all right so register is register login is register also no so it's fine now so you, might, you have you see that what happens is that this was the case earlier so what it did is that it matched the last route right here. Now, um, if you have used React Navigation Library, you know that if you put in a switch or something, then you know it just, just stops it there. But because we are using exact on all the routes, so this would not really be a problem for us. So that's good, we are good. So we are login, register, and dashboard. So yeah, we have just created a little bit of pages for us, and now it's time to fill these up with a lot of content, a lot of linking and Firebase and all that good stuff. So that's all for this video. I'll see you then in the next one real quick.